Hi friends, uh, welcome to the wishing vlog. Um, if you're new here, you can find me here on YouTube and on Poshmark, Instagram, Mercari at the wishing clutch. Um, I wasn't supposed to have another haul this week, but I went to a small nearby thrift store and they were like, hey, all our clothes are $2. So that happened and then this morning I went to the bins for an hour and actually found a bunch of magic. So you know when I told my boyfriend yesterday that a lot of things were going to get put away and I was excited about having less clothing out, that was a lie. So <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and jump into this haul. Uh, we're going to start with the bin stuff I found this morning just because Right on top is a ginormous piece <laughs> and then we'll go through it um, let me know what you think again bins items were less than two dollars a piece I think like a dollar eighty something and then these items were on sale for two dollars a piece so pretty great couldn't help myself I don't think you would be able to either don't lie <laughs> So let's go ahead and jump in with this first very large item that I was shocked was sitting in an old bin. And that is going to be this something navy size medium. It's called the feminine topper, I guess. I looked up comps on it. And it is a very large trench coat with three buttons on front pockets. It's lined. Um, the fabric isn't wool or anything like that, but this brand is, I believe, a blogger favorite or was made by a famous blogger or something like that. Um, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but comps for this piece are for between $55 and $75, so well worth it. Um, I think a lot of people are avoiding it because it is pretty heavy. However, I have a lot of flowy or silky items, so it didn't really affect the weights and the cost of my other items. We have Catherine Malandrino, which I don't normally pick up. This is a size seven. I picked it up one because the print is super pretty and perfect for spring. And also the actual style of the top, I think is gonna do really well. It's a button down in the back with these mother of pearl buttons. And then of course the floral print and then these gorgeous trumpet sleeves. So I think this will do pretty well for in comparison to how the rest of the brand does. Um, the next item we have here is Bowden and this is a size extra large, love selling Bowden. It does have these very cute little gold button details. And I think the sleeves are like a bishop sleeve. So. I don't think the fabric is anything super special. Let's check this out. Whew. Uh, nope, just cotton polyamide in elastane, but that's okay. It's a great size and excellent condition. This I got probably for myself. I could not resist. I don't think the brand's anything special. It's called Vocal and it says made in the USA, but the hood has little skulls in sparkles and then it's like a super flowy like zip up hoodie top love it boho graphic a little bit of stud details totally bringing back hannah's old emo punk vibe because that was a thing when i was a teenager <laughs> Here we have, this brand is called Marithe and Francois Gervaud. And I believe this is a vintage brand. I don't think it's made anymore based off of what I could tell. I could be completely wrong on that. Don't take it to heart. Uh, size six, but this is just a really nice kind of architectural skirt with oversized pockets. Comps were a little all over for this brand. There were some for 100 and some for 20. So we'll probably price it about 30 or 40 and then see how it does. This is a new pickup for me as well. This is Double Rainbow, but spelled O-U-U -U at the end. It's a size extra small and it's a button down 
very retro beachy top with like the sun and the wavescape and snake texture and all of it. Um, another brand that comps were kind of all over for, but it looks like pieces do pretty well. And the sell through rate looked decent, so we'll see. This I was very excited to find. This is J. Crew, and this is for or made with Liberty fabric in a size six. It's a fully elastic waist, midi length skirt. I've never found the Liberty fabrics um, collab with J. Crew, so very happy about that. And it's a nice bright coral color with like. I don't know if it's supposed to be like peach blossoms or cherry blossoms, but super cute. Liberty fabric is supposed to be a nicer quality print. So um, it does bring a little bit more value. This is just Banana Republic and I believe it's Factory Banana Republic. However, it's new with tag, size four and retailed for 70. And I have sold this skirt before used, so I figured I could pick up, it's a wool with kind of a herringbone pattern on it. I think it'll do well. These are BDG mom jeans in a size 27 with some crazy distressing and the lovely cheek slash in the back. Um, these should get me between 15 and 20. BDG is sold at Urban Outfitters. Here we have Everlane in a size large, and this is kind of like a rugby top with a very faint striped pattern. It's a cream color, and then I think it does have like a little, I could be making, yes it does. It has like a little embroidered E on it right here. So, curious to see how this does. I haven't found anything like this by Everlane before. Itchy, okay. Here we have Madewell, and this is just a, hello, tie front top, size medium, with little daisies, perfect for the season again. Nice and lightweight. Oh my goodness, what is going on with my eyeball? This is Eileen Fisher in a turtleneck style, size small. Just a nice stretch knit color is very cute. Yeah, is that a little stain? Can't tell, I'll have to check it under the light when I'm done. Here we have Foxcroft and size small. I picked it up one because it's in like new condition and two because the print is super cute and it has the nice stripe cuff detail on the sleeves. So hopefully, Price that at $25 and it sells quickly. Let's see. These are such a cool find. <laughs> These are Harley Davidson size eight. And they are a low rise trouser crop with Harley Davidson embroidered on the back. Very, very cool. Um, and I believe you can tie these ties higher up on the pant too, like kind of roll it up. So it gives it options as far as the length you want on these. Um, if these are my size, I'd keep them, but they're not. Fabric content isn't anything special. This is very much one, because this brand sells well for me, and two, because it is totally reminiscent of the kind of punky, grungy stuff that was popular in high school when I went to school. So this I actually picked up last week. So it was kind of funny that I found it again. It's We the Free size extra small, same size too. So I'll probably just make a multi-quantity listing. Um, very much an accordion sweater with the ribbed, super oversized and stretchy. This is an extra small and it obviously looks oversized on me. Here we have Torrid. This is a size two, just another semi-sheer blouse. Rumor is semi-sheer is coming back in. We will see. Tunic, tunic length, high-low hem, button front, and then the gorgeous floral details. So 
These are one of my favorite cut from the cloth styles to pick up. This is the Charlotte High Rise Culotte, or as nowadays we call it, the high waisted wide leg crop pant <laughs> is probably how I will list it, as well as putting that name. Um, size four, super stretchy, and honestly in like new condition, so. This, we'll see how it does. I've never found Not Your Daughter's Jeans tops. That's probably a lie. I probably found it in a haul and showed it to you guys, and I just don't remember. But size small, really cute print. Kind of a mixed media peasant blouse. We'll see how it does. This is Theory. Yay. Uh, theory size small if it's just got the singular P that does mean small because remember theory is not um, The same as all other brands here we have the skirt with the seam lines on it very cute This is wool. I haven't had a chance to look it over like microscopically, but from what I could tell, checking it over at the bins, there were no holes or anything like that. And it's a nice weight too. I love Theory's weighted um, dresses and skirts that they have. This is by E by Eloise in a size small. These are just a pair of anthropology shorts, perfect for the season, and the color is adorable. Very cute. This is very... <laughs> Ariana Grande vibes. This is a baby doll dress with puff sleeves. Perfect for the young crowd to wear with thigh high boots or platform heels. Totally gives off that vibe. It's by Zara. It's got a nice textured detail to the fabric and it is in a US extra small. So We'll see how this one does. Fingers crossed that maybe it's a blogger favorite, question mark. <laughs> um, here we have Lane Bryant, and this is new with tags in a size 22-24. Just a nice, cute, basic. I usually only pick up Lane Bryant if it's new with tags. Nice detail on the neckline and the hem with the scalloping. Ah, very cute. Here we have Gymshark, size small. I told myself I wasn't gonna pick up Gymshark anymore, but this is in like new condition and it's a cute little hoodie. I think it'll sell pretty quickly. Um, my bet is that it's gonna sell on Mercari, but we'll see. <laughs> American Eagle, this is an older um, pair of jeans just because of how that embroidery is done, but it is the artist. It's a size zero. But they're in like new condition. I think they're worth sitting on for a little while because they should fetch a decent price. Hold on. I just got a thing asking if somebody wanted to pair or pair their phone with my phone. Absolutely not. <laughs> Here we have current Elliot. This is a size zero. But if I remember correctly, the jackets do well and it still had the tie around. Every single one of these buttons says current Elliot and some like number details and things like that. This is an anthropology brand. Um, the jeans sit forever and a day. Don't recommend picking them up, but I think that will do well. This is another Not Your Daughter's Jeans blouse and I wish this was in my size because I think the print is super cute. Kind of like a pen stroke print. And we have this, which was a style pickup. This is Billabong. It says sunrise on the horizon. And then it's got like a, a faux tour date thing. And then of course the retro, almost stained glass looking rainbow, distressed t-shirt. And it's a women's size extra small, but it is oversized, so. Perfect. 
Then we have Jan Sport. Ooh, and I picked this up because it's a Harvard University t-shirt. So I don't know how this will do. I have no idea on comps, but it's in excellent condition, size small, and I feel like anything with Ivy League logos on it does well, plus the Jan Sport angle. Angle. I'm pretty curious to see if that adds any value to it or something. I don't know. MG size two, extra large. Very cute. Double XL is a great size to sell. And it's in that brown tone that is totally trending right now. This is Lane Bryant again, 2224. New with tags, floral shirt in a stretchy jersey knit. This is Free People, and it is a size extra small. So, of course, you know, Free People at the bins have to pick it up. It's in excellent condition, and it does have a row. It does have buttons on the lower half, so it's almost like a varsity type cardigan. Very cute. I'm going to move this back over here and then throw the items that I pull from here. So this is a very small thrift store. Well, not super small, but a smaller thrift store um, near me. And I wasn't expecting to find all this great stuff. And it was super surprising that everything was $2 other than a couple items that were marked otherwise. So here we have Pure Jill. This is a size 1X funnel neck shirt dress. I don't know if the fabric's anything super special. No, it's just 100% cotton, but it's a nice kind of woven look to it, space dye. So yeah, $2, I think worth it because I would pick that up at the bins and that's essentially what this stuff is, is bins pricing. And I didn't know that I was going to go to the bins this morning until my daughter was like, are we going? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> of course. Uh, American Eagle Outfitters, size large, duster cardigan, and a blue and white stripe with pockets. So, okay. This is Free People Beach, and this was in the men's section. Size extra small, balloon sleeve with little ruffles. Very cute. Oversized again and only $2. Uh, this is one of the pieces that was priced a different price. This was $6.99. It's new with tags, Gen 7 by 7 for All Mankind. These are the Enhance Me Trouser, which is a flare style, so right on trend, new with tags, and they are a size hello, 16. So I figured I couldn't go wrong with these. These were made for stitch fix. So that's another keyword I can add to draw attention and value to them. Okay, this was the other one that was priced differently and that's totally fine because it is new with tags. It's free people and it is a size large, $5.99. Just a nice cropped turtleneck with a split detail. Super cute black stretchy bishop sleeve again. Totally seems to be the trend with sleeves right now, which I don't mind because I like a little extra room in my sleeves. This brand, I don't know if any of you have heard of it, but it is kind of a lag and look brand. Uh, comps for this specific dress were around 30, 35. And it is Wrap London. So it is a UK brand. Hello. But what really drew my attention to them to make me look them up is, um, where is it? So a lot of the fabrics are organic or like linen blends. Look at this. Super cute little eyelet details. Um, also, minimalism is a big deal 
with this brand based on the pictures that I saw of stock photos on Poshmark. Here we have Moth by Anthropology. This is a size medium, just a nice orange, uh, stiff collared sweater. Very cute. That collar would drive me insane, but I'm sure somebody else will love it. Um, the fabric or the yarn is a little bit multicolored. It does have some little hints of green in it, which is cute. Two dollars. <laughs> Here we have Cabbie in a size medium. Perfect little blouse with the striped hem. Nice little spring piece. This is Paper Moon by Stitch Fix. Probably shouldn't have picked this up, but I do like selling Stitch Fix brands. They do sell pretty quickly, whether they are on uh, both Poshmark or Mercari. So I grabbed it, size medium, high neck top. This is cabby in a size medium and it's a nice adjustable strap spaghetti strap floral blouse again again guys remember this is bins type pricing other than for the two new tag pieces so i think it was a great deal here we have j jill in a ponte style size extra large with pockets in excellent condition Whoop, whoop. I don't know, maybe this person was, it was all the same wardrobe as far as the extra large and 1X because this is Pure Jill, size extra large. Another minimalist turtleneck shirt dress or sweater dress. Let's see what the fabric is. So it's just a cotton polyester blend. However, when I looked up comps, they were selling for, you know, between 20 and 40. This is made well, size extra small, and it's just a cute striped pocket front. It does have a couple little small stains. I'll see if I can get them out. Otherwise, I'll list them with for a lower price and try to flip it quick. This is Bowden, and it's a striped t-shirt, and comps are all over the dang rainbow for this one. Um, anywhere from $8 to $35. <laughs> So I'm going to price it right at 20 in the happy medium. And I mean, as long as I get an offer for $13 or more so that I can make $10 on it, I'll be happy. Um, it is a US size six and it looks to be in like new condition. This is probably for me, White House Black Market, size medium, double V-neck, just a loose knit tank. And I don't think the fabric's anything special. No, it's just a rayon and spandex blend. So I thought it was cute though, and it's nice and structured and got a nice thick seam on the hem. So last item in this bag, this is Alice Blue, which is another Stitch Fix brand. Super cute, one of my favorite colors to sell. And I think those flowers are little magnolias on it or a plumeria or something. Let's shift this one over so we can get into this one. Here we have Cabby, size small. Again, pretty yellow tone, retro dots. Very cute. This is another new to me brand. I looked it up though, and it looks like it could sell for, you know, between 25 and 35. This is Sea Salt Cornwall, and the fabric was what drew my attention plus the little details. There's eyelet lace trim, and then it says right here, thanks for wearing us. And the fabric is some sort of linen blend. They're pink, a nice straight leg trouser crop. Very cute. Again, no idea on sell through rate or how quickly they'll sell, but I thought they were cute and it's kind of a nice time of year for that. Meadwell, size small. This is kind of like a brushed knit fabric, three button front. Oh, it was so nice to be able to just flip through racks and grab stuff and not worry <laughs> as much as like the bins where you kind of have to really go over everything with the fine tooth comb to make sure there's not like gaping holes or anything like that. This is mod cloth in a size one X 
and it's a faux wrap dress. The floral print is gorgeous. They look like asters or daisies. Very pretty. Um, comps were all over the place. Anywhere from 20 to 60. <laughs> Which I find is always true for mod cloth. So I typically price on the higher end and see how it does. Come on. Another J. Jill size extra large sweater dress. Minimalist. Let's see what the fabric content of this one is. If I can find it. There it is. So cotton and rayon blend. Do, do, do. This is Wrap London and it is, is this the hemp piece? Did I pick up the hemp piece? Nope, this one's 100% organic cotton, but it's a nice, like slightly stretchy knit. Oversized hoodie, incredi ow, incredibly thick hoodie. Meow. Another J. Jill. This is a size large stretch dress in all black. And this one is maxi length. Where is your fabric content tag? So this one's 56% 50 Pima cotton and 38% modal, and the rest is spandex. I think that one's gonna sell pretty quick, to be honest. This is Lululemon. Yay, it doesn't have the size tag, but I don't care. I think this is called the Unity Cardigan, and comps look pretty great for it. Look at the back detail, though. So it's nice draped, kind of semi-sheer back, here is the little hint that it gave me as to what it was. Also, you can just kind of tell by the feel, honestly. So no size, but I will measure and list accordingly. Super excited to find that at a thrift store for $2 because that just doesn't happen with the prices that we've been seeing lately. Here we have, oh geez, Chalet at uh, Ceci? Size extra large. It says made in the USA and I picked it up because I figured whoever this person was, they knew their minimalist brands. Um, Chalet, from what I looked up, is all over the place. However, for this specific style, I do believe that I'll get between $30 and $40. It does have the vintage dot detail, oversized pockets, all of that. The fabric is 100% linen and then these dots actually have like textured thread around the edges. It's very cool. So this kind of reminds me of um, Lena Tomei. If you haven't heard of that brand, that's also a nice lag and look brand and it sold pretty quickly for me. Um, Tomei is spelled T-O-M-E-I-I. -I. So here we have another Wrap London piece. Another super long kind of popover tunic, or even a mini dress, depending on how brave you are. <laughs> and fabric, 100% cotton. Very cute corduroy texture. Here we have Desic Wall, first time picking it up. Size medium, silky, almost handkerchief on front in a nice retro vibe. And then the name is also on the back. I don't know what the fabric content of this one is. That is a giant amount of tag. Let's see, viscose, polyester, and elastane. Very cool though. Somebody will love that. Last but not least is this gorgeous cause blouse size small. Cause is the higher tier within the family of H&M. So there's and other stories, cause, H&M, all of them. Uh, this is a nice kind of like a bubble knit. It's got a nice touch of texture to it. Bright pink, three quarter sleeve perfect for spring and i think it's just a cotton blend let's double check though 
Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, cotton and elastane. So that is all I found. Again, these last items were $2 and then the items from the bins were less than $2. I think I scored big time, especially in 24 hours <laughs> period of time. Now I have to list all of this this weekend, plus some of my previous hauls items and yeah, wish me luck. <laughs> I am trying to list um, as close to 400 items a month as I can. That does include relisting. So, you know, usually that takes care of, you know, about 30, sometimes 40 of those items. So, you know, at max, I'd be listing it around 470, but or 470, 370 uh, new listings, but it's still a lot. And I am feeling a little bit of the burn, uh, not just from reselling, but from life in general right now. <laughs> so we'll see how I do. Thank you for watching. And I hope you appreciate this extra video thrown in this week. And I will see you again soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.